Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Deadwood Premonition 2. Last time, our skateboard died. And more importantly, the Lord hungers! And we made a, we're going to make a meme out of it. I just want to make a point to you, again. The time in this game sucks. It is 10 o'clock. Last episode, we started like at 9.30. It's still 10 o'clock. That does not make any sense to me. Like, I have recorded 20 minutes, and it's only been 40 minutes. It's like, if you were to do the year stamp challenge, you would have to literally wait six months straight in games, or in lifetime. I can open a fridge. Isn't that illegal? I mean, I'm FBI, but that's not the point. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can't run fast. Is that phone hooked up to a electric box? I see a double base. In the skateboard workshop, aka the pastor's house, where the Lord hungers. Hey, Agent York, I feel like someone's in there. Let's go and see. I thought that's creepy. What do y'all want? I'm kind of busy here. Hi there. Are you Emma? Yeah. Who are you? Francis York Morgan. Morgan. I'm an, I'm an FBI, FBI special, special agent. Oh, wow. That's a whole different thing. Please guy. call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? So, what does the FBI want with little old me? I already told the police everything I know about Lee's. Emma, I haven't come here to talk to you about Lee's. Although I suppose it's sort of connected in a way. My darling is broken, and I need you to fix her. <laughs> you call your board your darling? I never heard that one before. All right, let me see it. I'll try and assess the damage. Well, she knows what she's doing, unlike me. There's pretty wheels on it now. I replaced all your trucks, wheels, and gave you some brand new deck tape. Also, you were missing a tail guard, so I put one on for you. That way you should be able to do a few tricks here and there without any risk of damage. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful, Emma. The wheels were scraped down and the base plate screws were all about to fall out. Oh, and the axles were also warped. It was pretty much in critical condition. Now what I want to know is how did it get that way? Well, my car was stolen on my way here from Houston. So, I switched over to my darling and rode her here instead. <laughs> you know, you're crazier than you look. Emma, would you mind answering another crazy question for me? I want to use this board to soar, literally. Would you mind teaching me a trick that would allow me to do so? Oh, you mean you want to do a wally? Ooh, well, I'd be happy to teach you how, but it's too cramped in here. Hmm. Oh, I know where we should go. You want to learn, too? You sure? Seems like you're interested. <laughs> Whatever. I know you're just going to come along anyway. So you should at least learn the basics. She gonna learn today. I would have. This is. This is a game. 
<sighs> the abandoned factory? Okay, Agent York. Now we should have enough room to practice. I'll show you how it's done first, then you just practice till you learn how to do it, okay? It's like you did a mid-air jump. Press left button at the... What? No, but... Okay, it's left button, not right button. Ooh, I get a whole dollar doing that for flag. I didn't wally at the right time, but that's okay. I can just keep moving anyway. So when I fail in a minute, you'll understand why. I, w I missed the flag. I just completely glitched myself and I thought I was screwed over. Really? Okay, the controls for skateboard is hard. Like, I know I've been doing the basics, but I could have done that a whole lot faster. Alright. Fifty nine hundred? Eighty four hundred. Okay. Two crowns? I learned a Wally. Stay humble. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. I only learned that new trick thanks to your guidance. Now I'm sure that Zack and I will be able to reach our destination without any trouble at all. Thank you for assisting in the investigation. <laughs> Glad to be of service. If your board breaks again, or you feel like customizing it a bit more, just stop on by my workshop. I'm pretty much always there during the day. I'm also taking some time off school because of what happened with Lise. Skating and playing music are the only things that help me escape the pain of losing her. My first thought is... Zach, did you see the expression on her face just now? She works hard to act cheerful, but she's yet another person who was hurt by the tragedy. Lisa's death is like wildfire, spreading embers of sadness throughout the entire town. Yeah, we can go make board good. Incense? Skating. For the love of skating has been unlocked. Well, mission 63 is gonna be a well, because we don't need more missions right now. The good news is we can just go straight. Oh my god, I think I keep. God bless it. Anyway, we'll see you there. Look, I still miss the car, okay? For the first game. Alright. One shot, Johnson. 
one, no one saw that. Oh, your board has durability now. I'm gonna walk into that. So, your skateboard's gonna break a whole lot more often. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. those things. That the accuracy is terrible on this thing. No, get off the freaking board. By the way, Patty, what are you? Yeah, there's so many freaking get off the skateboard dang it I keep hitting the wrong button all right holy cow there's even more I wonder if I can just skate by him The answer is yes, I could have just skated by him the whole time. It's an interesting square. Hey, Agent York, are you sure you really want to talk to this guy? For the Lord hungers, yes. He kind of scares me. Patty, there's no need to worry. Just hide behind me and you'll be fine. Chuck Thompson. You were the first person to find Lisa's body, correct? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Ah, uh, Agent York. Seems like he ain't in the mood for talking. Chuck Thompson, may I have a word with you? I'm looking for the one who fired the pistol at heaven. You trying to say I gotta aim up to shoot because of my height? Hmm? Oh! Not at all. I was merely quoting the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Skeletal gentleman? You ain't making a lick of sense. What do you all want, anyway? What do y'all come here to waste my precious time for? I'm currently running a race around town thanks to you, who fired the starting shot. The murderer and I are competing to see who can cross the finish line first. Unfortunately, the murderer got a generous head start on me. If he gets away from me, I'll lose. But if I can catch up to him, then I'm sure I'll win. Wait. So please, Chuck, tell me. How did you find Lisa's body? Her body was hidden under a bridge on the bayou, very close to the Mississippi River. 
It's got to be at least a few miles away from your farm in this swamp, right? All the Claxons are the folks who gave me the damn permission to farm crawdaddies here in the first place. Now why the hell would I ever want to kill that little girl? Then what were you doing out there? Hmm. You know, lately I've been seeing a queer boat around these parts. Ain't too big. Probably only holds five or six. And it's got a deep draft. Assholes think they can just drive right through my turf, right through my dang crawdad farm. So you gave chase, which led you to Lisa's body. Yeah, that's right. Fucking poachers. Where did the poachers go? Oh, hell if I know. Fog was thick that day, thicker than usual. So I lose sight of them. The next thing I know, I'm under that goddamn bridge. Then I felt a chill run up my spine. And I knew. So I drove up to the bank and got out. And there she was, strung up on it there, altar. Did you know Lise personally? Yeah, I knew her a little. She never showed me no disrespect, unlike the rest of those damn Clarksons. They so rotten I can smell them from here, same as the shit at the bottom of this here swamp. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. They was a little better when their boy Lenny was still around. Lenny? Yeah. Leonard. PJ's son. He never showed me no disrespect, neither. And he's the one who gave me permission to farm here. But... Well, ever since he left home, his whole family's gone straight down to Shitter. Lisa was the only decent one left. She was wise, just like Lenny. Ain't right, I tell you. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now I'm done talking, goddammit. Now go on, get the hell out of here. Philip mentioned something about his son leaving home. That must be Lenny. Did you know about that, Patty? Everyone in town knows about it. By the way, Zack, do you remember what we saw when we were skipping stones? That boat with the dragonfly crest. Zack, no matter where we go in this town, we're constantly assaulted by information related to the Clarkson family. Just where is that skeletal gentleman trying to lead us? Yeah. The head tilt though. Talisman's been unlocked. Airboat rod? We successfully found the one who fired the pistol at heaven. You went, but you were- Now we need to visit the White Hall of Beds. You know, Zack? It almost feels like we're orienteering here. The freak is that word? Doesn't it remind you of our training in Quantico? Oh, okay. Alright, so we're gonna grab this. And... Oh, no. I'm bad at this, okay? I don't even want to play- I didn't mean to even play that. So, what's even here? Drums? I can create a safe place here. Huh. Well... I know what we should do. Next time on... Dead with Permission 2, we will be trying to find the vending machine from God because the Lord hungers! I 
haven't said in a while, okay? And the main reason I want to hear, before we actually finish, we end things off. Hi, Agent York. Okay, let me take a look at your board. Looking good. Oh, remember, in order to get better, you need to become... See you later. Oh, if you ever got any skateboard qu... Well, my question okay, is... Patty. Uh... Hi, Agent York. Don't know where a new one, don't know where a new what? Trick. Trick. You're frustrated and want more ways to express your overflowing passion. I don't think you're wallowing enough to have about yourself. Really? Sure, I'm dead serious. Of course, I would break the song. How about you finish it with a special time on it? Thanks. One time. Okay. Time to do the first trick. Finish the course within the time limit. Use the 360 power slide sl trick in the time limit. Anyway, I'll see.